Lisa's here. Here we really are taking in your questions from uh, right across the country. Right. So we've got one, um, Cindy from Edmonton. Lots of Edmontonians Ooh, in the audience. I know, there we yeah, yeah. Love that. Love that. She says, I don't have enough shelf room to store my sweaters. Do you have advice on how I can hang them? Yeah, this it's is a good question. Because the worst thing you could probably do to any netwear is hang it. Right. In the, in the typical sense you can imagine because it just, gravity, it just stretches the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want it longer, this could benefit you, except then you get the shoulder thing happening. And yeah. You know, but, okay, yeah. so the best way, honestly, to store it is first take your sweater. And I encourage you to just, just fold it in half over the shoulder, bend it over like this, and then take a hanger, preferably a wooden hanger, okay. not a metal hanger, okay? Or if you have some of those metal ones from the cleaners, but they have the little, you know, guard on them when you buy it. So if you don't have that, I, I encourage you to put like a piece of tissue paper. This is a lovely piece of paper, isn't it? I got it. <laughs> so not the newspaper. We don't want the newspaper. Then I wanna, the best way to do this is if it's a matter of space, is just put it on like that and fold it over, just like you'd find it if you picked it up from the dry cleaner. Smart. Okay, so that's the best way. That way you don't get that line in your sweater, you don't stretch it out, and yeah. it'll always look good. It'll always look great when you go to put it on. I wouldn't have thought about that, but that's a smart way you, to do uh, it. You're not gonna I'm stretch here. it, right? Yeah, that's, that's why, why I'm that's, here, That's why she's here. Yes. All right, this is Sarah from Thunder Bay now uh, in Ontario. She wants to know what's the best neckline for a plus size gal with a large bust. Okay, absolutely the V-neck. The V-neck is the most beautiful when you have a full bust and you're plus size because it's almost like an optical illusion. Uh -huh. You get this beautiful V and your eye is drawn, rather than it being wide, to this long, narrow shape that brings your eye right from that apex up to your neck mm. and your tension becomes on your shoulders and your neck and it actually elongates. Right. It's so beautiful, but on top of all of that, I think it's really important that you have the right bra. Because if mm -hmm. you have on a bra underneath that's actually pushing your breasts forward, actually that is creating bulk and size. Mm -hmm. So what you really want to do is make sure that you're fitted properly so that they lift and separate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they lift and separate. You know, and you get that, and then you have that beautiful V, and then it's always up to your face because right. it's like lifting up. So definitely the V. Doesn't I don't want it too low. I, I mean, was going to say, is this about no, showing no, cleavage? Absolutely or not. Or is this about a long but neck? But for a lot of people, depending on how your stature is, yeah. how much space is between your the, the bottom of your neck and where your bust line begins, that can be vary. It can vary yeah. depending on your height. So it isn't. It's just you want it above where you start to see cleavage happen because we don't want to bring emphasis there. But if V doesn't have to be deep, yes, it can be narrow as long as what it's doing is pulling your eye up optically. Unless you want to draw attention Unless there. Unless you want to do that. And if that's you right. want Look to, you, you go ahead and do Look it. Look at you. I don't know what's what wrong with you me today. I don't know. I don't know. She's just not herself. That's Listen, all I have to say. Those are good. Uh, I like your advice. That is awesome.